Hi, so today I want to talk about resizing a disk, particularly a virtual machines disk using Virtual Machine Manager, which is sort of the Linux interface for QEMU KVM. Uh, so here I have a standard Ubuntu machine. It says 2010, it's actually 21.04, just trying the beta out. So in here I've got a, a 24 gig uh, drive. I could do some work within uh, the VM, but I want to do all of this from outside of the VM. So I'm going to uh, turn my VM off. Uh, I'll show you that nicely. But you could see I had a 24 gig disk, which is uh, small. The VM's off, so we're going to quickly open a terminal. We'll just double check that it's off. V I R S H uh, list, just to see what's running. Nothing's running. Let's have a look at the pools. Pool dash list. Basically, these two pools are where you store disks and whatnot. And we do volume list, vol list, and then the name of the pool. So you can see I've got some images here associated with various machines. Uh, so I happen to know the one I want is the Ubuntu 2 image. There is, if um, if you need to, uh, you can edit the machine name uh, or edit the machine. In here, you can see your your location, which you will need. So I'll just copy that. First thing to do is to to resize the file that holds the virtual disk. So the way we do this is we do a QEMU dash IMG resize then you want the path and then you want to tell it how much you want to ex expand by so we had 24 we're going to go up by 6 gig to make it a nice round 30 so i do that got to do a sudo because i don't have permission so it's going to throw an error uh, which is because i'm working on a, a dot image which is a raw format um, if you use qcal or qcal2 this works as well but i just prefer to use .image files, don't know why. So uh, that file now is expanded to 30 gig. I can show you that here. If I now go to this, you can see it's just over 30 gig in terms of actual file size. But that's not the only thing you need to do. So just because we've expanded the file doesn't mean we've expanded the virtual disk uh, underneath it. But first we need to basically, into our host, we need to load in our virtual disk. Well, the way we do this is with a NBD. So we load that in. So uh, QEMU dash NBD. Uh, we want to connect to a file. We want to mount it as dev NBD zero. We want to tell it the file we want to load. And then if we do an LSBLK, we can now see these disks down at the bottom. This partition here is essentially the one we want to expand. We use our traditional like gparted or parted partition tool and we can expand this partition. So sudo parted dev nbd0 and I'll just print them out. I'm going to tell it to fix, but you can see here it's got the partitions that are on this drive. So this is the virtual drive that we're, we're now looking at, not a physical drive. So all of this is within the file uh, and you can see that our partition that we want to expand is this one. It was a 24 inside of the uh, the VM. It showed up as a 24. So we want to resize that, which is resize part. Then you give it the number of the partition, which is three. And then we do 100%, which means it'll expand it to the whole size. If we do a print again, you can see it's expanded it now to just over that 30 gig. Well, it's expanded it up to the end of it is a 30 gig. It's, it's less because of the other partitions that are required part of the boot process. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into this partition, specifically into the file system and expand the file system out because the partition basically has a file system and then just some empty space. You need to update the, the file system information to, to take use of that extra space. So the way we do that is with sudo and then e2fsck f tell it partition so this time we need to do nbd0 and if you double tab it will give you some options and it's partition 3 does some checks and whatnot and then we need to resize the file system or expand the file system to the full length the way we do that is with a resize to file system it's around the wrong way because you really want to change the file system to the partition and then we tell it the device that we want uh, or rather the file system we want to expand so the way we do that is with resize2fs and then dev and then nbd0p and double tab and we want three again and just run that uh I need to do a sudo last thing we need to do is we need to unmount our disk from our system so we do a sudo qemu dash nbd and then a dash d which is disconnect and then we tell it which 
which device we want to disconnect from. So if I now just do an LSBLK, you can see it no longer shows up in my system. Super duper. So if we now restart our VM, So we will open up disks and you can now see that it's expanded to a 30 gig drive and we've done all of that from our host. We haven't done any edits or any configuration from within our virtual machine. Also, if you have uh, an encrypted disk, you can do the same. There's a little bit more complex, but um, if you follow one of my other videos where I took a uh, encrypted disk and expanded it onto a new disk, there's a few more steps in the process. You just sort of have to merge the, the instructions together at the right points. If you follow basically the other one, except for rather than working on the drive, you work on the MBD rather than the SD, probably B, it, it should work fine. Of course, try it in a VM first. Yeah, that was just a eight minute, 10 minute on how you can expand a virtual hard drive for QEMU KVM. Thanks for watching.